folks to uh, Slidell, Louisiana, the uh, home of the Barbecue Challenge, Slidell Barbecue Challenge. My team, Barbecue Express, uh, is represented uh, one of the local representatives here, although we have teams from all over the country. And uh, we welcome all of them to come and compete. And we just hope that our, the judges think that our meats are a little bit better than the others. And we use uh, local seasonings and spices and formulas for our uh, Louisiana unique uh, approach to barbecue but uh, come on down and see us we'd love to have you all right we're here this morning in Old Town Slidell five and a half years after Katrina the Kansas City Barbecue Society competitions going on this is the second year and it's really been an important part of the regrowth of Old Town Slidell um, Katrina right here in front of my store the water was here throughout the whole area and we're five miles from the waterfront Water came in five miles from the shore, uh, pretty much devastated everything from where I'm standing to about five miles out to Lake Pontchartrain. Um, there was no electricity, no water, or anything for at least a month, month and a half after that, some areas longer, but now everything's come back. There's still a few blighted properties around, but most, for the most part, the economy's coming back pretty strong. Uh, all the schools are finally rebuilt. Our new city hall, just they just moved in last week. Five and a half years took them to get all that rebuilt. Uh, businesses are starting to come back here in Old Town. Uh, as I said before, the economy is getting much, much better. There's a lot of new businesses moving in. The film industry is real big, so anybody out there that's in the film industry, you want to take a look at, at uh, South Louisiana, where Hollywood South tax credits out of this world for anybody involved in the film industry. But uh, it, things are things are finally somewhat back to normal. Probably 80% of the people that lived here are back. A lot of people just said, you know, what the heck with it, we're staying. We're not going back and dealing with that again. But like I said, for the most part, everything's been real, real good, and things are much, much better here in Slidell. And events like this that are coming along uh, every year really help put us back on the map. This in 25 words or less. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, appreciate that. Uh, my name is Eric Dubasan. My wife is Mary, and uh, uh, I used to, in a former life, used to be a, a band director. Uh, did that for six years and had a ball until my hearing started to go. Then I decided that I should take my uncle's advice when I was in high school and buy his dry cleaners. So that's how we ended up buying the building in 1982 and the business, and uh, we operated that. Uh, for 29 years. My uh, uh, uncle was in the Lions Club, and as a result, as soon as we bought the business in 82, I very quickly became a member of the Lions Club. And a very good friend of mine who is in the Lions is Frank Jackson. Frank loves barbecue. He is a uh, certified judge. Uh, he started talking to the Lions a few years back about doing a barbecue, and that's how I, we got involved, just uh, through the Lions. And our building turned out to be uh, Central Station. Uh, we, as I said, we had a dry cleaners in there. Uh, we had a little flood in 1995 uh, that put two feet of water in the building, and even with insurance, put me a quarter of a million dollars in debt. We almost had that paid for when Katrina hit, and that was six feet of water, and I don't have to have the third to strike out. So at that point, the dry cleaning business was over. Uh, we weren't going to put a half million dollars worth of new equipment in to flood for the third time. But as a result, we had the gutted out building, rebuilt it. When it came time to do the barbecue, we have, by that time had turned it into a gallery, which just had stuff on the walls and had plenty of room for the judges. So it became a very convenient place for us to do the judging. Uh, last year was my first opportunity to be involved in it. And my, my friend Frank, who I call my brother, uh, said, just we want you to help with the grazing table. Now, knowing Frank, I thought I was really going to be working hard. I had no idea what the grazing table was or how any of this process worked. 
So uh, we're sitting there, and he says, just hang on. You'll see. It's going to come up in a minute. We're going to put you to work. So they start bringing all this leftover food, and he's showing me how we're going to separate the meat and throw all the, the green stuff away and do all this. And he's, then he said, and you can eat all you want. Yes. You're kidding. So I took the first bite with all the room quiet, Took that first bite, and I went, oh, my, and I looked at Frank, and everybody's looking at me, Shh, be quiet, you're not supposed to talk. So they moved me out of that room in the grazing table. This year is in the back, so I can express my delight without worrying about interrupting anyone. So uh, it's been fun. Uh, it's been a benefit to Slide L. The Lions and Rotary work very closely on this project, and uh, we're having great fun with it. And, of course, we're in it, as Frank said earlier, to make money for our charity. So it's a good thing. We're having fun. Thank you. That. Oh, I know. Gosh. You know, the only time I only had undercooked chicken. I'm, I'm thinking that one's a little bit too dark. Now I'm torn because that one was this nice, one? but it's too dark. It's a little light. Hold on. Shoot. Look, it won't be light by the time Hold I get one. it there. Hold that one. What do you think? That one. All right. There's our eight. Let's let's see if we can make it work. All right. Yeah. Is that Ken? when Teresa Lake did it. I guess I will do to get a hat and get a wash rag. <laughs> well, I thought his mom was cutting chicken. But she's helping. She's helping. But he did whole chicken. I said, you can't do that. You have to cut it up. But she was cutting. Tell me the truth. Did they look pretty? They look gorgeous. They look beautiful. That's better than one of the box that you're doing. Meaning, which one goes? Which two go? You make a table captain happy. We're having nine. Mm -hmm. Is it six? All, that, all they did was take it from the box. You're hot. You ready to go home? we we'll just go to the grazing table. Hit my baby. I got his hands up. Yeah. That looks pretty, sir. You don't want to use the other knife? You said it's sharper. Actually, the easiest thing to do is definitely. There you go. That was not quite a smooth cut. I like that. That's one hit. Quit it out. That's what you want. Oh, move your finger. Move your finger. <laughs> That, that, that baby one almost got sliced off. Mmm. While I'm talking junk. I better watch my finger. Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave this. Can I get one more out of there? Okay. 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 So this one's pretty good. These two. This one, they look No. Good. Look at the end. Okay. Cut funny. Look at that one. Uh, that one's fixable. You can trim that one up. Right. Get that little. Yeah. So it'll be pretty. You bring next time you bring scissors to trim. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You break scissors, tweezers. <laughs> this is a uh, learning experience. Yes. The next time you can believe, he'll be, he'll be really at it. 17, Steph. You're good. That one's overcooked. Go down, go down a couple and see if that's... Mm. Mm. Well, you might get one off of that. Not that, not that, the of it. Oh well, it's overcooked. No, I don't know what that's cooked. Oh. You gonna it's leave border, it? It's borderline. Oh, you are gonna leave them like that? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just testing them, see what they look like. Oh, just put the, put that one in there. Don't mess with those over there. Find your spot. Huh. Use those plate holders. Figure out which ones are your best, I'll do and then I'll move. <laughs> don't mix up your rats too badly. Because don't make up here. Because you're, lo you're looking at moisture and texture. These are really good. Good. Yeah. This one's pretty moist right here. Mm. I don't like the way it's cooked, but... Okay, yeah. throw it in the box. This one doesn't... This one, one, one looks dry. Well, no, it looks perfect. You say it looks you're okay? You're okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I'll give this one a yes, go in the box. Alright. Now, arrange these, the way you're going to put these in that box. Because you only have so much space. You're going to have to overlap, so find you, your um, lengths. Put them... Oh, uh, well, okay. They have to overlap. You can... Plenty time. that you move the knife because the knife will go after you. to complement those right That corner? This is perfect. Why do you say that? Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Where? This is, this is perfect. Oh, man.
Win the ribs? Huh? Are you gonna win the ribs? That's the intention. Yeah. <laughs> but doing it is something else. Welcome to Orleans. Long time. Huh? Nine weeks is a long time. Yeah, well, we're traveling from one contest to the other. Started out in Mesquite, Nevada, and ended up in uh, uh, Big Jig down in uh, the end of Georgia. And then last year they were all shot in just northern Hollywood, just across the road from Malibu Beach. We shoot a lot of movies. In fact, we're on the set on the site where uh, we shoot this horror show, HBO, True Blood. Yeah. Uh, I've watched it after I got home. So, uh, about five minutes is all I can take of that. <laughs> Bunch of suckers. <laughs> I don't like the, fir the first year, I think, was the best. And they filmed the little house on the prairie. Told you I'd find a ride. All right. <laughs> You're a smart man. Little house on the prairie, and I forgot what else it said. But there's about 10,000 acres out there. There's nothing but uh, really shoot motion picture, TV show. But last year, we they summoned four of us to New York. January. It was Super Bowl weekend a year ago. And uh, and they uh, had us up there to shoot some still fox photographers. They had two famous photographers. One of them came to Texas and shot us all one day. He got $50,000 plus all the expenses paid. And he had about 10 people. They knew, he didn't have to tell them what to do. His name was George, I can't think of his last name. His next assignment was Diane Sawyer. She was going on ABC Evening News. And he was up in New York when we filmed it. He says, you, when you go in the other room, tell the other guy, he's, he, he's not worth a damn. Tell the best photographer over here. <laughs>
Sit my foot in that, I'll be okay. Well, that's it. You need your box? Huh? Beautiful brisket, Johnny. Thank you. Hope it tastes good. I got his time. Okay. 129. Right there, Ronnie. Looks good, man. Good job. Thank you. Tender. That's good. One thirty. Cut them thick for it. It's so tender.
It looks good though. Some of them are paper thin. I don't think you can get a real tape flavor to it. Being thin? Yeah. You don't happen to have any more of those awesome ribs, do you? No, ma'am. You ate the last one. Oh, shit. Do you have a restaurant now? I tell you what, you're going to win the ribs, man. Hey, hey, man, them things are fantastic, man. Well, thank you. They're all fantastic. 130, Big Daddy. Six and a half. 130. It's turning time. time. Is it judging time? It's turning time. Oh, turn it. It's turning. We can't interrupt it. Either. Oh, turn it. Well, come on. Get away. All right. I am getting away. They say they got the best barbecue. Where are we? One thirty-one. Number one and two, I had to give them both all nines. They were tender, moist, and the sauce was perfect. Just absolutely good chicken. Number uh, three, uh, a little, little, not quite as uh, moist as the others. And, uh, yeah. uh, fourth, fourth one, uh, not, not just had a little burnt taste to it. Uh, didn't really care for it. Number five. Uh, uh, not much taste at all. Uh, didn't didn't much care for it. Uh, and the sixth one, again, a little bit of burnt taste. Did not like the sauce, uh, but overall, some very good chicken. That was a better taste, tough on number three, four, I felt it was a little dry, five was um, mushy, uh, six was a little spicy. I've already cleaned up my tray there. All right, yeah. Can, can I pass? <laughs> Okay, um, as you can see, with the ones I like the most, I've eaten some off of. But number one, really enjoyed. It. I liked the flavor; had all the garlic to it. Um, touch dry at the bottom, but otherwise, I thought it was cooked well. Number two is probably my favorite on the plate. Really liked the flavors; it was cooked well. It was a nice, moist piece of chicken. Number three served both a breast and a thigh. The breast part I had was dry, which actually I think hurt the team by serving that because I did enjoy the thigh. With the breast being dry, I had to mark it down a little because of that. Number four, the flavor wasn't there for me so much, and the skin was a little tough, and the bottom was a little dry. I think I think it just stayed a little too long on, on the smoker or grill. Number five, I enjoyed the flavor a lot. It was very moist. Probably my second favorite on here. And number six, didn't really care for much at all. Um, overly smoky, may have stayed on too long, and I also had just a touch dry in it. But I, I think the, the sauce itself, may have, I don't know if it had liquid smoke or something, but it was just overpowering, so you couldn't taste the chicken. Number one was uh, just a little bit uh, overcooked, had an uh, adequate flavor. Number two was probably the best on the plate. The flavor was good. Tenderness was uh, was very good. Number three, the <clears throat> had had good flavor. Um, probably would have scored better if they hadn't included the breast because the breast was a little overcooked uh, and uh, slightly dry. Uh, number four uh, had a good hearty smoke flavor, but it was uh, was a little bit on the uh, on the uh, less tender side. Uh, could have stood to have been on the fire a little bit longer. Number five, uh, the flavor it just it almost was like uh, the only flavor there was the sauce. 
Um, tenderness was excellent on it. Uh, just could have used a little more smoke flavor. Uh, number five was a little spicy. Tenderness was uh, was pretty good. Uh, just a little, little, little on the spicy side. The first one uh, did not give a, a really good appearance. It was pretty dark and uh, just covered with too much sauce, I thought. Uh, it was uh, a little bit tough and chewy. Uh, the taste was good, but not great. Uh, the second one, uh, again, not a really good appearance to me. Uh, it was uh, tough and chewy. Uh, and the taste was a little bit off as well. The third one uh, really, really looked good. Uh, again, just a little bit on the tough side, uh, but the taste was good. The fourth one uh, looked good. Uh, again, just a little bit on the chewy side, but the taste was good. The fifth one looked very good. Uh, it was quite tough and stringy. Uh, but the taste wasn't uh, bad. It was pretty good. Uh, and the sixth one, uh, just a little bit dark and a little bit uh, too much sauce on it. Uh, but the texture was quite good and the taste was good. I thought we had some excellent cooks here today. We got uh, some good brisket. The taste was excellent. The flavor was super. Uh, tenderness was good, is well prepared. Uh, I think we're fortunate to have some good cooks here. Yeah, the uh, cooks have been great today. Um, on the um, the brisket here, the number four was very tough. You couldn't pull it apart. Um, uh, number five was a little dry, but all in all, it was um, uh, a good job. The third one was the most tender. Four was very tough, took forever to chew it, but the others were pretty good all in all. I agree that I thought the number three was the best. It was the most tender and it had good flavor. Um, they were all pretty good, but um, I still agree that number three was the best. I agree. Uh, number three was, was very good. Number four was very tough. Um, but overall, it tasted pretty good.